Well, that was a bit crazy. We just started filming in Asda when a big security guard came up to us and told us we're not allowed to film in Asda. So uh, top tip for anybody that wants to try and film inside Asda, you're gonna get shut down straight away. This week's been an action-packed week, okay? So much has been going on, and I'm still trying to get to basics with using the camera, uh, being out in public and filming, and a lot of crazy stuff has actually happened. For one, we got shut down or kicked out of Asda last night for filming. I'll show you all that. Uh, I went to watch Newport County play football this week and somehow managed to just walk straight into the ground without even paying. And if you walk all the way through that gate over there, it's wide open. I've just managed to get all the way into Newport County's ground for free. I'll show you that and I kind of show you what my life is like in general as I'm still trying to get to the basics of using the camera, filming myself out in public and generally everything that goes on in the world of David Kyle. Okay, so let's get started with last Saturday. Last Saturday, we headed all the way down to Southampton because we had a wedding to go to. And that was the first day I was going to release the first vlog. I'd edit it all together and I was ready to export it so I could put it up on YouTube and you look could get to watch it. The only problem was, every time I went to open it or press save, the video would just close, it would just shut down automatically automatically which was a massive pain in the ass because I wanted to get this done and it just kept crashing so a lot of the edits or the little bits I had already done I had to get rid of those so I could get the vlog out up and running before we went to the wedding um, wait let me just stop you there let's just watch the first the dance So the wedding was actually really good. It was a chance that I could meet up with one of my former clients down in Southampton. And I got to meet up with all the other girls that used to come to the gym. We danced, we laughed, and we had a really good night. And what was even better, we even got to stay in a hotel. We got Holly's makeup room. The bed. The first vlog being uploaded to YouTube right now. The next day, it was time to find a camera because I'd been using my iPhone. There's lots of great stuff and people give them good reviews for using your phone, but I really wanted to get a camera to know that it was gonna do the proper job. And there was tons and tons and tons of cameras to choose from. I had no idea. The guy was pointing at this one, he was pointing at that one, he was saying, take this, have a look at that. And I was looking online, finding the best reviews, and we decided on this camera now, the one I'm filming on and the one you're watching me on today. So then we bought that camera and then we headed back up to Cardiff. Hey guys, wait one second, let me just change this. Much better. Canon EOS M50. So, let's get this open. Okay, so one of the things I actually really loved about this camera was how small it actually is. Because the camera I was originally looking at is the camera that a lot of the big YouTube vloggers are using. Um, so people like Casey Neistat and Simon Wilson are all using this much bigger Canon. Um, but this one, as it's one of the newer ones, it's almost or if not as powerful as the camera that they're using. So the camera is quite small, it's going to hold quite well around the neck and it's not going to be absolutely massive everywhere. So when I'm out filming, and especially as I'm going to be quite new to this, it's not going to feel as embarrassing as carrying a massive camera around, especially when I do put the microphone on top. So let me just open all this now so I get it all out and you can see what it looks like. So here is the camera. Okay, so that's enough of me showing you about the camera and what happened on that last weekend. My friend was coming up to watch the football in Newport, so I thought, why not get this camera straight into action, take it down to Newport County, have a look around Newport as I've actually never been there before, have a look around, record the match, and something really crazy actually happened. How crazy is this? I've literally just bought a ticket, and if you walk all the way through that gate over there, it's wide open. I've just managed to get all the way into Newport County's ground for free. And here it is. So I'd already bought a ticket after I'd snuck in, so I went back out, had a look around Newport. <laughs>
Now, it wasn't exactly the best game in the world. There was a lot of chances. There was a lot of long balls. And if you know much about football, when you get down to League Two, it's just a little bit messy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that was Newport. Now, my life is spent all the time literally on my computer in a different coffee shop. So one day I could be in this coffee shop, the other day I could be in this coffee shop, and every other day I'm gonna be in different coffee shops all the time. So that's how I spend most of my day. This week though, I wanted to try and do something new. So I went along to hot yoga and gave it a go. Now, if you haven't done hot yoga, just check out some of the stuff we do because it is pretty hot. Okay, honestly, if you haven't tried hot yoga before, you should. It is a really good workout. You get really hot and sweaty and there's so much actually going on in it. Now, we've been watching quite a few YouTube videos on different type of challenges and things that we could actually do. And one of those challenges was where this lady went into Primark, she had a bit of money and she tried to see what the best thing that she could purchase for that amount of money. So we decided on the target, we packed our bags, we got in the car, we drove all the way down to Asda and we started filming. Holly was picking out this item, she thought maybe this one looked good and she was even looking at this item here too. Then, as we kept going around, some big, massive security guard came in, told us we couldn't film, so we had to stop right there. Well, that was a bit crazy. We just started filming in Asda when a big security guard came up to us and told us we're not allowed to film in Asda. So, uh, top tip for anybody that wants to try and film inside Asda, you're gonna get shut down straight away. So that is the end of my second vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I can let you know what I've been doing. This week I was just a little bit scared of actually talking to the camera out in public where now I'm sat in my house and it's really easy to talk to the camera. So this following week, my aim is to try and get better at me talking to the camera out with people looking at me. So let me know what you thought of this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And if you'd love to leave me a comment, leave me a comment too. Um, but thanks for the well wishes last week and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. Thank you.